Today on Let's Celebrate TV Cocktail Friday, we're making a cranberry whiskey sour. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Cocktail Friday. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're making something called a cranberry whiskey sour. Let's get started. Whiskey sours start with whiskey. This is the kind that I'm using today. I'm using Jack Daniels. Now you're gonna want a stronger whiskey for this. In our testing, we tried a lot of different whiskeys and ryes, and none of them stood up to the cranberry as well as Jack Daniels, but use a strong whiskey. We just need two ounces or 60 mils. Right in our glass. Next up is, of course, cranberry. You can't have a cranberry whiskey sour without it. I'm using 100% cranberry juice with no sugar added. Again, two ounces or 60 mils. Right in. Next, we want some lemon juice. That's gonna give the sour to the whiskey sour. And use fresh, always use fresh lemon juice. We just need three quarters of an ounce or 45 mils, and that's about half a lemon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze in the juice of half a lemon. You can measure it if you want. There we go. Next is simple syrup. That's going to help the alcohol and the fruit juices bind together. It's gonna to provide some roundness. We need three quarters of an ounce or 45 mils. This I will measure. Now you can make your own or you can use store-bought. Right in. Our next ingredient is grenadine. It's not gonna add any flavor, but it's gonna deepen the color and I want this a bright, vibrant color. Light, vibrant red. We just need a splash, just that much. Our last ingredient is an egg white. Now I'm using from a real egg, from a fresh egg. If you have some concerns, you can, at your grocery store, get in a carton egg whites that have already been pasteurized. So there's no chance whatsoever of any type of bacteria or salmonella or anything. They're great when you're making this for a crowd. But since I'm making one, I just have one egg white from an egg. Now our next step is a little unusual. We're gonna dry shake this. And by that, I mean I don't have any ice in my cocktail shaker. That's going to help the egg white emulsify with all the other ingredients. Just a quick shake. And that gets everything nice and foamy. Now, we're going to add in some ice. And we're going to shake for real. Here we go. All right. Now I need a martini glass. I happen to have one right here. I always prefer mine in a martini glass. We're gonna strain this. Look at that. How pretty. All that lovely foam is from those egg whites. Now, we're gonna garnish this. I have some frozen cranberries. How fun are that? Put them in and they're gonna float. And there you have it, cranberry whiskey sour. Now let's do a little taste. Things I do for you. Mmm, that is amazing. You get the whiskey, you get the Jack Daniels, but it's not overwhelming. It's standing up to the cranberry. You get the tartness from the cranberry juice and the lemon. The simple syrup rounds that out, makes it sweeter and just brings it all together. Delicious. 
All right, as always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for basic skills or cocktail Fridays, and every other Sunday for our live streams. Now, I'm going to go have a little sit down. I'm going to drink my cocktail. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, cheers. <laughs>